न्यूक्लियर सेफ्टी द बेसिक ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ न्यूक्लियर सेफ्टी इज द सेफ्टी ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग पर्सन जनरल पब्लिक एंड मिनिमम इम्पैक्ट ऑफ इट्स ऑन द एनवायरमेंट सो दीज थ्री थिंग्स आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन न्यूक्लियर सेफ्टी इज कंसर्न सो द पीपल दोज आर वर्किंग इन साइड द न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट दे शुड बी सेफ एज वेल एज द पीपल्स एंड ऑल्सो द एनवायरमेंट लेट मी एड वन सेंटेंस यूर वेन एवर वी आर सेंग एनवायरमेंट यू नो द एनवायरमेंट इज हाईली सेंसिटिव विथ द extent of radiation as well as a temperature normally the nuclear power plants are set up near the uh, rivers or sea the reason behind this is they can use that sea as a sink uh, to throw all the uh, waste water or you can say after cooling whatever hot water will be generated will be disposed in the direct sea but it has its own drawback the water suppose if it is coming out of that uh, nuclear power plant if it is not cooled properly suppose if it is increase 1 or 2 degree more temperature and if it is sent to that particular sea a special species may get die because of higher temperature so that is one of the reason so maintaining uh, minimum impact to the environment is a basic uh, objectives of any nuclear power plant it addresses the prevention of accident by virtue of design construction and surveillance of plant so the pl the plant should be set up in such a way that it should uh, prevent any accident in that particular premises so they it should not uh, experience any kind of accident so all that precautions needs to be taken see that is reason why whenever they set up any nuclear power plant first analysis they will do is the soil test they will see the geography of that particular area normally the area which is uh, commonly experiencing earthquake or tsunami will be avoided for the construction of nuclear power plant because there is a more uh, chances of getting accident uh, if uh, earthquake comes or tsunami comes and it is going to hit this particular nuclear safety also while uh, setting up of this nuclear uh, power plant they will see that uh, it it should be a, a bit away from or from the society so uh, that is reason why uh, whenever any nuclear plants were established or uh, they constructed it is kept a bit away from a common people so suppose if any accident occur it should not cause much damage to the uh people okay and also it should provide safety system to protect operator general public and minimize damage so these are the basic uh, uh, things should be maintained in the nuclear power plants basic features of nuclear power plant the number one is its building so as we know that nuclear reactor is re releasing energy by nuclear fission at the core so whatever that structure of or you can say the core of this nuclear power plant was will be constructed so that it should have a capacity to shield the heat as well as shock during the routine or accident second point the core the core should be set up in such a way that it should maintain ideal condition uh, using proper control rod and cooling system means the core of the nuclear power plant is very much important and it maintains more safety during this particular process so control rods and cooling system for that proper coolant proper moderator is needed and maintaining proper uh, flow rate of this cooling uh, liquid within the this core is very very important in maintaining the ideal uh, temperature in this particular nuclear power plant number 3 refuel time depending on a type of nuclear reactor some are having 12 months some are having 18 months so at the particular time you know that fuel rod needs to be changed for a better uh, efficiency and also for a better safety because there is a possibility that uh, due to deposition of a waste or you can say fissionable product the cladding material may uh, expand 
and it may get crack and once if it gets cracked there is a possibility that the leakage of radiation uh, in a coolant uh, begin and it is going to cause penetration of radiation outside the nuclear power plant if you want to avoid that then proper maintenance of refueling tam is uh, is a must the next one is a monitoring so human being working inside power plant needs to be constantly monitored for any over exposure of radiation during operation and also the temperature within the in within the core is maintained and also the radiation experienced by the people who are working will be monitored if any individual is exposed to more radiation then uh, they have to remove it out uh, needs to given a proper treatment so that the effect of radiation over that particular body will be minimized number 5 waste disposal a proper method is adopted to dispose nuclear waste as per standard procedure now disposal of nuclear waste is depending on whether it is solid whether it is liquid or whether it is gas also it depends on the extent of radiation whether Uh, the extent of radiation emitted by that sample is less if it is a less just by dilution method we can dispose out but if it is uh, having more radiation uh, then we should go with concentration method followed with uh, disposal and the sixth and very important part proper emergency response plan we may not uh, come to know when that emergency will come or when accident takes place if any accident takes place how to response that particular things should be uh, planned properly and also required training will be given to that operator those who are working so in the history these are the two uh, very horrible disasters are of nuclear power plants have seen in 26th april 1986 the chernobyl disaster Uh, which was in ukraine it at that time it was a part of ussr a safety test they were doing at a night control rod was not able to close it completely but unfortunately it was not closed completely and inside that nuclear reaction was still running and as a result slowly the temperature of that particular site increases at inside the core and it will results in explosion and it causes a tremendous loss and as per ines scale it is a 7 actually ines is nothing but international nuclear and radiological event scale actually it is just like earthquake is measured by richter scale right so the same way whenever any nuclear disaster takes place it is measured by or ines scale ines 7 means it is a major disaster so chernobyl disaster which uh, was comes uh, with that highest category and still that area having uh, that particular radiation exposed so even if we want to move in this particular area even at present situation uh, even we need to uh, wear proper protective suits and then we have to enter and the second one of same kind of disaster was experienced in 11th march 2011 Uh, in fukushima daiichi nuclear disaster japan actually in japan at that time a tsunami and earthquake uh, came uh, since the cooling systems power was uh, broke down that means a power supply for uh, water circulation or cooling system uh, failed and its backup batteries also was not able to work as a result since the cooling system failed slowly the temperature of that core increased and it causes a explosion with the radiation expulsions so these are the two horrible nuclear power plant disasters was experienced by human being in the last uh, 50 years and of course along with that there are many more uh, small small accidents uh, which i have not taken into consideration thank you